We've always prayed that a godly man, the right man, would come into Ashlyn's life, as any father would with their daughter, especially their first daughter. And one of the things that I would say in full transparency that I did not do is I did not pray specifically. I prayed for a, a, for a good man, but I did not pray specifically. So what were my options? I could observe, which is what I did. And what did I see? I saw Ashlyn being very happy. I saw a companion for my daughter. He's a provider. He's a caretaker. He is one that I would have prayed specifically to be put into her life. I don't have to tell you to take care of my sister because you've been doing that since day one in your relationship. So I love you guys so much and God be with you in your relationship. <laughs> While living life alongside these two dear friends, I have continually been encouraged by the way God uses them to bless me and reveal more of his character to me. Matt and Ashlyn, your presence in my life as individuals and as a couple has been a life-giving gift. Your lives up to this point are a testimony to God's faithfulness and goodness. May you continue to see more and more of his greatness through your marriage each day. The first day you were born and you stole a part of your dad's heart with those brown eyes, I love you, I just love you honey and I wish you nothing but the best. To Ashlyn and Matt, may your days be blessed today and every day forward, your family, and may you never forget everyone here who's here to celebrate with you. We love you. Cheers. Ashlyn, I covenant with you before God our Father and in the presence of these witnesses to become one with you, placing you before all others as long as we both shall live. Matthew, I promise with Christ's help to honor you, adore and cherish you, and respect you as my own flesh. I promise to see you as a fellow heir of the salvation as well as my husband. With God's help, I promise to love you, Ashlyn, and sacrifice for you as Christ loved and sacrificed his life for the church. I also promise, with God's help, to Your set an example in servant leadership through lovingly serving you. With God's help, I promise to respect you, Matthew, and joyfully submit to you as the head of our household out of reverence for Christ. I also promise, with God's help, to follow the example set by your pursuit of Christ. I promise, with the Holy Spirit's help, to encourage and build you up, to listen to you and to hear you in an understanding way. Matthew Howard, I promise to seek Christ and live for his glory. All these things I promise to you with God's help. In struggles and triumphs, in little and in much, in joy and in sorrow, as long as we both shall live.